everybody, it's me, Hilly Zavaro. Today I want to show you how to create stories using Story Jumper. Let me show you what stories could look like. There's a cover and there's a picture and some text. Students prepare books. It can look like this. There's a cover, a cover page and some stories. There's also a way to record some music. Can look like this. So first thing you want to do is you want to log into Story Jumper. Story Jumper. And then uh, you just need to sign in. In order to sign up, you click on the top right corner. You can sign in with Google, Facebook, or just put your name and your username here. First thing you want to do is click Add Class. And you want to give it a name, let's say, hey, Shalosh. And you create a very simple password, like one, two, three, four. And you click save. That's it. What you do is you copy this link from here and you send this to students. Let's look at the student view. Students get this link. They are being directed to this page where they have to insert the password that you gave them. One, two, three, four. Then they click submit. First thing, you definitely want to do it with them on Zoom and just model how to do it, either on Zoom or in class, and just model everything step by step. So they get the link, they insert password, one, two, three, four, and then it's going to ask them, do you already have a Story Jumper account? And the first time they need to press, to press no. Then they just need to write their name, let's say Dan, and last name, let's say Cohen. And then it's going to provide them with a username. Best to tell them to erase this, delete, and just write Dan Cohen. So tell your students to uh, you uh, delete what it says here and write name and last name all one word if you model and you do this with them for the first time they're not gonna have a problem doing it and then you click create your account then it's gonna ask them to change their password so tell all of them to put the same password tell all of them to put one two three four five one two three four five it cannot be the same password as the class password so, so just do one two three four or one two three four five and make sure it's it you tell everybody to do it and then the only thing they need to remember is their username which is their name and password one two three four five and click submit so it's very easy students don't need an email address so it's very easy for everybody to sign up and join the classroom that you created so then it's going to ask students to create a book they click create book remember first time always do one book with them together you can click here and start so you want to click first on the cover page it says front cover and here you just want to give it a title so let's say you just finished a unit about animals perhaps they want to choose an animal and write a book about it for example my first dog and here they want to write their name let's say we said then cohen is the name and so they just write their name here and that is the cover. Then they probably just want to add a picture that's related to dog. So they can click on scenes and they can write here dog and see if something comes up. Of course, anything related to the to what you uh, thought about. So we don't have dog in scenes. So maybe garden or something similar. Maybe we we'll want to do a beach. We have a lot of uh, a lot of scenes with that so I'm just going to choose that one 
and click X. Then all students need to do is just drag and drop the scene. They can also add a picture. So that was scene. That's basically the background. And then perhaps they want to click photos and just choose a photo. So they can add their own photo from the computer or simply write dog and see if there's something here in the free photos. So let's say I pick this one. We're going to choose prop because it's not the background. It's not the scene. I'm going to click prop and um, adjust it a little bit and click the um, check mark. We're done. We have the dog. We could place the dog here, drag and drop. And my cover photo is ready. My cover page is ready. And then I'm going to go to the dedication page here. You can tell students that they can dedicate their book to anybody. This is for this. Uh, this book is dedicated to my little brother. Um, let's say my little brother, um, Sean. And then we want to go to the next page. Now we're here in page number two and we want to first choose a scene. So let's pick a scene. Let's say the first one, the one we had from before. Now, as we have a scene, we can add photos and we can also add props. So let's say I want to talk about a dog, but I don't have a dog yet. So I'm just going to choose myself. I want to show myself. I'm going to click design characters or choose a character from here. So let's say that this is me. I'm Dan. And I'm going to say something uh, about it. Um, I'm going to add perhaps my parents onto here. I'm going to click more props. I don't have anything. I can write parents and see if there are any parents here. I'm going to click. I have mom and dad. I'm ready to go. I'm going to drag dad and mom to here. And I have the little boy. And I think I'm going to change the scene now. I'm going to make it more like home. Yeah, this looks good. Let's say this is mom and dad and I'm the boy. Now the boy is going to say something to mom and dad. So these are the props right here. You can also design characters here. Um, this is the scene. I chose the house scene here. There's always, always a way to look up different scenes like home from here and pick different scenes. Um, and so uh, let's go to text now. I'm going to click text. And then students are able to add speech bubbles or different ways of showing the text. I'm going to choose this speech bubble. I'm going to make it a little smaller. And the boy is going to say something. He's going to say, Mom, Dad, I really want a dog. Can we adopt a dog? And so, um, this is the first page and let's say we want to have the parents answer the question on the next page so we want to duplicate this page we're going to stand on this and click copy page and then we're going to have the same page here only that i'm going to change this yes let's go find a dog at the animal shelter and this of course is going to have to be directed to the parents so I'm going to actually pick this one and paste the uh, the text onto here I'm going to move it a little bit and then I got my first two pages that's it students just continue and continue to edit their work using text from here, props, anything they'd like to add, scenes, and of course photos. They can look up photos and add them just like we did it with the cover page. The cool thing is that you can also ask students to record their voice. So let's click voice, record, allow. Yes, let's go find a dog at the animal shelter.
So if we like it, we can click save right here at the top. It saves and we're ready to go. We can add some voice to this page as well. I'm going to select this page, click voice, record. Mom, dad, I really want a dog. Can we adopt a dog? I'm done, I'm going to click save. Of course I can listen to it and I'm done. We always want to delete this page, which is just an instruction page. I'm going to click delete page. Okay. And so students can simply continue and continue adding pages. And when uh, they, uh, if they have too many pages, they can delete pages here. Let's say they select this page and just delete with the little trash can. And when they're done, they click save and exit. And they're done. They can take a look at it. They can play. And you're pretty much done. Now, as a teacher, when you log in, you're able to see all your classes. So you can click on the class that you created. And then you will see a few options. It's going to say one book and people. So if you click on people, you're able to see all the different people. So we only have one student, student currently, Dan Cohen. We know we told everybody to put the same password. So we know the username. So if Dan forgets his username, they can simply, uh, he can simply ask the teacher and the teacher will tell him that the, his username is Dan Cohen. But to make it really simple for students, just tell all of them to put their first name and last name with no spaces and choose the password one two three four five when you're done uh, you can click on one book and see dan's book and you will quickly have all your students on here and you'll be able to see all the books you can even add comments and you can download the book now the way when you're done and the project is completed you want to share all your books perhaps with parents or you want to share them on the school comp uh, the school website so all you need to do then as you are inside the class click share all books and you will get um, a link to copy and send to parents it's that easy all the books are public in one place that is at the end of the project so i hope you like this tool uh, students would really love using it to practice writing to practice speaking and sequencing and all different language uh, skills enjoy bye bye